Our story today concerns one of the most known Polish directors. It is a person extremely important for Silesian people and Silesia. A man who became a golden figure in the history of Polish cinema exactly because of the fact that he made the first movies dedicated to a specific region of Poland. Our hero is Kazimierz Kuc, who was born February 16, 1929 in Chopinice and died December 18, 2018 in Warsaw. Kuc was not only a film, theater and TV director, but also a screenwriter, lecturer at the Silesian University and National Higher Theatre School in Krakow, and a writer and a publicist. For many years he was also an active politician. Between 2007 and 2011 he was a member of Polish Parliament, and even longer a senator. During the time of Polish People's Republic he cooperated with the democratic opposition. Between 2001 and 2005 he was a vice marshal of the Senate, in its fifth term of office, and then a senior marshal in Senate at the sixth and seventh term of office. But it is not his political activity I want to tell you about today. There are many issues in the life and work of Kazimierz Kutz that we could talk about, but I would like to tell you about his Silesian films. They are Sulziemi Czarnej, Black Earth Salt, from 1969, Perła w Koronie, Pearl in the Crown from 1971, Paciorki Jednego Różańca, Bits of a Rosary from 1979, and two other films treated as an addition to the Silesian triptych, Zawrócony, Turned Back from 1994, and Śmierć Kromka Chleba, Dead Like a Slice of Bread, also from 1994. Kutz is considered the creator of the Silesian cinema. He was the first one to show the region that he came from. He is the author of many myths and stereotypes about Silesia that have grown into popular culture and common sense of Polish people. I would be very happy if you decided to watch these films and got to know Silesia more because this is my beloved family region. I will talk briefly about the films from the Silesian pentalogy of Kutz. The first film, Sulzie Micharne, Black Earth Salt, talks about the Second Silesian Uprising, which took place in 1920. It is the story about seven brothers who fight for Silesia annexation to Poland. The film shows that the most important element of the earth are people, and it is them who know best what is good for them. It is worth mentioning a little bit of history here. You must remember that after the First World War, there were three conflicts between Polish and German communities in the Upper Silesia. The First Silesian Uprising took place in August of 1919. The Second Silesian Uprising a year later in the summer of 1920. And the Third Silesian Uprising in 1921. The last uprising was one of the five Polish insurrections which did not end as a defeat. The second film, Perła w Koronie, Pearl in the Crown, it is about strike in a coal mine in 1930s. Mines, miners, coal are the symbols of Silesia, and the region's life has been concentrated around them for centuries. The protagonist of the film is Jaś, who learns that the mine he is working in will be closed soon. The third part of the trilogy is set in more modern times. The film Paciorki Jednego Różańca, Bits of a Rosary, based on the novel Tego Domu Już Nie Ma, This House Is No More, it is a story about an old miner who does not want to move out from his house into the block of flats. The protagonist and his wife have lived there their whole life and don't want to move in their old age. The move is necessary though, since the neighborhood they lived in is going to be demolished. All these three films are extraordinary. You will see Silesian colors in them, you will listen to Silesian language, which is very different from Polish language and will surely astonish you, and you will see everything what is important in Silesian region. The next film is The Turned Back, the story of a worker who is sent by his boss to a solidarity rally, where he is supposed to spy on his colleagues. However, the policeman, the militia man actually, securing the demonstration, take him for an oppositionist and they arrest him. 
This film is a comedy drama in which situational humor is mixed with a serious libertarian identity and regional themes. The last film of our pentalogy is Death Like a Slice of Bread. There are some very serious points here. The film tells the story of the bloody pacification of the strike in the Vujek mine in Katowice on December 16, 1981. The strike in the mine was directly related to the declaration of martial law in Poland a couple of days earlier. Nine miners died then. It is a very important event in a contemporary Polish history. The story told in the film is based on facts. Forgive me for such a short summary of these films, but I hope it will be enough to encourage you to see them. Kazimierz Kutz, as I mentioned at the beginning, was not only a filmmaker, but also a writer. He wrote the book Piąta Strona Świata, The Fifth Side of the World. This book belongs to the genre of the small homeland literature. Generally speaking, small homeland means a place of a person residence that shapes this person. It doesn't have to necessarily be the place you were born in. For many artists, not only literary artists, but also film artists, theater artists and many others, their small homelands play the role of inspiration and myth-making, especially if they are considered from far away in a nostalgic way after they had been lost. Such is the role of Lithuania in Adam Mickiewicz's Pantadeusz. For Kazimierz Kutz, Silesia was his small homeland, and two unique districts had a special place in his heart and in his works. Bishowiec and Nikishowiec. An extraordinary theatre play was staged in Stanisław Wyspiański Silesian Theatre in Katowice based on the book Piąta Strona Świata, The Fifth Side of the World. As a fun fact, you must know that the title of Kut's book, uh, The Fifth Side of the World, became an inspiration for an outstanding musical project bearing the same title. In the songs of this album you can find many Silesian issues concerning the region and its inhabitants. It is very interesting because it combines the symphonic music played by Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra uh, with the outstanding idea of the composer and conductor Radzimir Dembski and with hip-hop music song by Miłosz, who is also the writer of the words, which you will hear in the songs. As the guest performing the song of the same title as the album, you can hear a famous pianist and blues and jazz harmonica player Jan Kikskrzek. This musician, born in 1950s, was a bluesman engaged in Silesian problems. The whole of his life was connected with Silesia. He created his music there, performed it and identified himself with this region. But enough of my talking now. If you want to get to know Silesia and its people, you already know what films you should watch and which music you should listen to. So there you go. Indulge in exploring Silesia by audio and visual moments. Speak to you soon in our next episode. Remember that you can also find various interesting facts about the Polish language and culture on Facebook, Instagram and in other Polish film shelf movies. If you want to support the activities of the Polska Półka Filmowa Polish Film Shelf channel, check out Buy Coffee 2 or Buy Me a Coffee. Thanks to your support, I can do even more.